Hey everybody, it's Cara Santa Maria for America's Greatest Makers, here with an intro to Maker Tech. Thanks for joining me for an introduction to something that's a real blast, laser cutting. Now, the days of laser guns and blasters are still a ways off. Hurry up, NASA. But lasers are still super helpful for makers when it comes to cutting and etching materials. So what exactly is a laser cutter? Well, it's a type of CNC machine. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. Simply put, a laser cutter is a prototyping and manufacturing tool that uses a laser beam to cut through materials to create patterns or designs. With a laser cutter, you can fabricate parts or engrave designs on a variety of materials like metal, wood, glass, and even some plastics. Makers love it because it's ideal for rapid prototyping. When it comes to laser cutting, there are three common laser types available on the market. CO2 lasers, fiber, and van date, or crystal lasers. So what are the differences between each? Glad you asked. CO2 lasers utilize a carbon dioxide mixture, which is stimulated by electricity. They're known for their relatively high efficiency and beam quality. For these reasons, they're the most widely used lasers. CO2 lasers are best suited for working with plastics and non-metallic materials like wood, acrylic, glass, and even leather. Now, fiber optic lasers belong to the solid state laser group. That means the laser beam itself is generated by a process involving specially designed glass fibers. Fiber lasers are, on average, about 100 times higher in intensity than CO2, yet they emit the same average power. They can engrave on materials such as metals, coated metals, and plastics. Finally, we have Vandate, or crystal lasers. As the name indicates, Vandate lasers use a crystal to generate their beam. Since they have the same wavelength as fiber, Vandate lasers are suited for use with metals and plastics. However, unlike fiber, Vandate lasers have a shorter life and they're also more expensive. Now that we've gone over the laser types, let's talk a little bit about the cutters themselves. Laser cutters range from large industrial sizes, like those used in aircraft manufacturing, down to smaller desktop size cutters. Now there are a few factors you'll need to consider to determine the type of cutter best suited for your project. First, ask yourself what material you'll be cutting or engraving to figure out which type of machine and laser best suits your needs. Also, factor in how much power you'll need. The amount of wattage required is directly related to the optics of the machine. Then, consider the bed size you want. The bigger the bed means the more jobs you can produce at a time. Makes sense, right? Now that we've gone over the basics, it's time to see this machine in action. So be sure to check out our beginner maker project on laser cutting right here at americasgreatestmakers.com. And thanks to my how-to home, Urban Workshop. I'm Cara Santa Maria. What will you make?